sure your yard waste is collected each week. It's important to follow the yard waste guidelines. Let's review them now. Please note, these guidelines apply to customers who get their service directly through Granger. If your yard waste service is part of a contract with your municipality, mobile home park, or homeowners association, you may have different guidelines. When preparing your yard waste for collection, remember that it will only be picked up if it is in a yard waste cart or paper yard waste bag. We will not pick up any yard waste in a personal container or any other type of bag. When packing your cart or yard waste bag, be sure you are not including anything other than yard waste. Yard waste includes grass clippings, leaves, brush, and tree trimmings. Yard waste should not contain any soil, sod, animal waste, rocks, or trash. Be sure your yard waste isn't too heavy. Yard waste bags should weigh no more than 30 pounds, and your yard waste cart should weigh no more than 200 pounds when filled. Brush and tree trimmings should be no longer than four feet in length and less than two inches in diameter. They should be tied with string or twine into bundles that are 12 inches or smaller in diameter. You are allowed to put a full yard waste cart and up to five additional items out each week. This could be 30 gallon paper yard waste bags, small bundles, or a combination of both. If you don't have a yard waste cart, you can place up to 10 paper yard waste bags, small bundles, or a combination of both out each week. And remember, just like with your trash and recycling, it's always best to put your yard waste out by the street the night before your scheduled collection. Thanks for reviewing Granger's yard waste guidelines with us. We appreciate your efforts. Want to add yard waste service? Go to our website and type in your address to see if it's available where you live.